Hey, what's up everyone? Another busy day, but still gonna attempt to make this video and move forward in some way for this project. So yesterday we worked on the back end. We showed how we can build a quick endpoint with Miroscope and FastAPI. Today, we're gonna to be using uh, Repolit to make our Next.js application. And maybe we'll see if we can query our backend API uh, and get back some information. So let's go and do that. So let's go here, let's create a REPL. Let's do Next.js. Uh, let's do App Directory, because I've been using that lately. And let's do Create REPL. Cool, they even have some readme here up telling you about it. Uh, let's hit run, let's just see it working. Nicely. Oh, compiling. It's loading the page. While it's doing that, I'm gonna open up some files. So because it, we're using Next.js app directory, um, that's why there's an app folder and that's why there's a page.tsx. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, so we see it there, it's working, okay. Um, can I open up a tab in a new window, nice, okay. So we have two windows open, nice. Uh, let's open up the back end from yesterday. Alrighty, and um, you know, we didn't try yesterday to deploy this, let's just, quickly try to deploy it since I'm pay for REPL it uh, should be that simple to, to deploy it build commands has the open API key open AI API key explain like I am cool deploy probably will shut down this deploy after uh, this video nice so let, let that continue going and so cool we have this app uh, up and running here, Next.js app. Um, a lot of boilerplate code here. Let's just remove that. Oh, um, where's the return? Nice. Nice. Uh, say hello. Mm, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Delete that. Nice. Okay. Uh, because we have AI on here, let's, uh, let's try to use AI. Uh, to help speed up development. So let's say this is still uh, being deployed. It doesn't have a URL yet. So let's fake one here. So let's say um, edit this so that it makes a post request to the endpoint, to the URL. Um, let's just put it at uh, HTTPS. Let's just put that for now and um, okay and if you guys remember from yesterday's oh it's done nice so let's just grab that put that here okay it's going to use that URL and um, in the post request body I want to send uh, what do we send again? We send topic and age. Topic and age. Cool. And uh, send some default parameters. No. Okay. So let's see how it modifies it. So you'll see. Nice. Let's, hit, let's just hit accept. You'll see that it. Uh, has a default topic, has a default age, it's called the hello function, and it calls the hello function when the page uh, first reloads. Cool, so let's edit this some more. Let's say, um, uh, show the response of the fetch on Show that in a div in a div under hello. Cool. All right. 
right, let's just see. So for topic, let's just put some topic. Let's put uh, algebra like yesterday. And let's say um, we put an age of five, five like that. Cool. Nice. Every time I command S, it does take a little long, but there's nothing playing. I think that was Siri just now. Uh, okay, so now we have this error. So I, I've seen these errors before. I've I've coded it. I have an idea, but the point is to show you how AI can help us uh, getting this error. Cool. Let's hit accept. Ah, so notice that when we were fetching, there's this cores error here. So this is actually on our back end, I believe. So let's copy that. Let's come over here. And let's set cores. Let's see. We can use AI to help fix that too. Oh, yeah, it's getting away. Um, is there a, oh, right there. Fix it down. Nice. So we'll configure cores over here. Okay, and let's redeploy that. It should take, it should be faster to redeploy. Okay, while it's doing that, let's take a look at here for a second. Let's just make sure that we're doing everything correct. So we just added a little bit more and notice we're getting another error here. It says objects are not valid as a React child, object with keys answer. So I believe that's because fetch response is returning a dictionary. So we should just do something like dot answer. So that's what our backend has. Nice. That was really quick. Let's, I mean, we see that we have a topic. We see that we have the age. We're querying our backend and we're getting a response. Yeah, in the next video, we're gonna put a form in here now so someone could type in the topic or the question that they have and uh, maybe clean up some of the front end. Yeah, that's it for today. Super quick, super fast. That's